Hey y'all, Dustin Schaefer here. Uh, so we're gonna talk about hydration. Uh, somebody sent you this video because you maybe aren't hydrated well enough and we need to do better. Uh, living in Southern California since 2003, uh, something I saw a big problem with was hydration. People are, um, it's, it's a huge problem there. It's a problem in Southern California, Nevada, Arizona, uh, New Mexico, parts of Colorado, anywhere where there's kind of a deserty area, parts of Utah. Um, they don't even realize it's a desert in California. They have no idea, but it is. And so hydration is a huge, huge, huge thing. So I want to kind of give you a picture. If you're keto or if you're low carb or if you're in ketosis, you potentially need to hydrate more efficiently, more effectively. And what do I mean by that? It's not about the water. I got keto in my drink, but it's not about the amount of water you drink. It's about getting minerals in your water because keto can, it's a natural diuretic. So therefore, if you're already slightly dehydrated or you're more prone towards dehydration, um, you're going to maybe release some of those minerals when you go pee. And you don't want to do that. And so I want to give you the, the best simple solutions to help improve hydration right off the bat. So um, one of the things I recommend when you wake up, and this is across the board, I recommend this. When you have a, when you get up in the morning, have a big glass of water and take a pinch of sea salt. I like, I like Celtic sea salt. Um, I like real salt. Himalayan is good too. It's just a lot more expensive and this is just as good. So pinch in the water, big glass of water in the morning. Start your day out with a big glass of water with a pinch of sea salt. Great. But this is what I do. If you drink keto nat and you're drinking ketones, this has been formulated. This has been formulated to go in there. Um, so this is a huge, huge, huge improvement of hydration. Now this has added things instead of just like a traditional electrolyte. A traditional electrolyte um, isn't necessarily formulated for our product. This is, um, but it also has something called P2P in it. And it, has, it helps with mitochondrial function and the ability for the cell to turn over and become more efficient. Um, so it's gonna accelerate results. So this is why this is so, so superior in so many ways. So if you're a person that's prone towards dehydration, headaches, sluggishness, you maybe get tired. If you're keto or drinking ketones, and you're not feeling that super zest and you don't feel that super power. Most of the time you're dehydrated. Now you're probably gonna go, Dustin, I drink a lot of water. Yes, and there's a problem with that. And I'll tell you in a second, most likely. So start using Mitoplex one or two. If you're more pro towards dehydration, use two a day. Um, and you're gonna see your shift, you'll shift so fast, so well. But if you don't have Mitoplex on hand, you're like, what do I do while I'm waiting for it to get, to get here or arrive? I want you to use some sea salt. You can get some electrolytes from like a health food store, low carb, of course. Um, and start using a couple of those a day, but it's not formulated the same way for what we're doing. But sea salt is a great tool. A lot of people tend to eat less sodium and less salt in general, and they tend to be more active or they use filtered water. So this is the reason why dehydration is a real big problem is that they're either really active, they live in a desert or both, that's even worse, or they use a lot of bottled water, filtered water, um, reverse osmosis, distilled waters, or they drink a lot of water out of like the canned uh, sparkling waters. Those waters don't have uh, 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 the right amount of minerals in it. it. The balance isn't there. Their pH is going to be low um, or more acidic. And it's a problem because it's actually going to cause more dehydration. So if you're somebody like, I drink a lot of water, but I, I'm never quenched. I'm still having a little bit of lightheaded. I stand up really fast. I get a little lightheaded. Most likely you're mineral deficient. Um, electrolytes are going to play a big role in that. Sodium itself will play a big role in that. So um, a lot of the ketone experts actually recommend a, a lot more sodium if you're in ketosis. Now, our product has sodium in it, which is really good. Some of you might need to go a little bit more. So you might have to play with it a little bit. So I have a couple little tips for you. This is the key. Um, if you're a person that uses a lot of bottled water, reverse osmosis water, you need to put a pinch of sea salt in it every time. It doesn't have to taste salty, but just salt, salt, salt. Every time, puts, it's going to help, I promise. Start salting your food more. You're going to notice even more improvement, more energy, more vitality. You're going to feel a lot better. Um, the other thing I want you to do is if you do use reverse osmosis, if you can choose a better choice of water that has more spring water, uh, and keep in mind, just because the bottle says one thing doesn't mean it's actually true. They're selling products, y'all. Doesn't mean it's always true. So you may still have, you may have to add additional to that. Um, but this is the simple secret. Now, if you, you get a light headache, one of my little tips I like to do is take an 18th of a teaspoon. It's just like maybe a kind of a good sized pinch of sea salt. Throw it in a little shot glass of water. Drink it down. Drink your ketones or drink whatever after. 30 minutes later, do it again and see if your headache goes away. Um, and that'll be a really good indicator or see if your energy levels boost back up that you're basically mineral deficient. You need some more sodium, you're gonna need more electrolytes. And that's a really good test to know that you're kind of off and you need to get better. So keep in mind, ketones don't cause this. They highlight a deficiency that was already there. So if you're already prone towards dehydration and you notice this maybe not, not feeling as superior as you feel like you should, you're probably already in the dehydration stage and you probably always dance that line. You tend to prone towards cramps, headaches, fatigue. Those are things that you've been dealing with 
dealing with anyway. So ketones are great. They'll accelerate your health and your vitality, but you're a person that, like me, needs to use Mitoplex um, and add more sea salt to your life and to your diet, add it to your food. It tastes better anyway. Um, and plenty of science that supports this, plenty of science that says that salt isn't causing all these problems for the majority of all the population. And so enjoy it. Enjoy the enjoy your journey. Enjoy your salt. Enjoy your electrolytes. And drink your ketones every single day, y'all.